Hi, good morning. I'm in Sheffield city centre this morning. So today I'm going to be doing something uh, a little bit different. It's not railway or canal themed, but uh, I'm just going to be going and have a look. I'm going to run down there the, the, uh, the five weirs walk that runs between uh, here in Sheffield city centre, follows the River Don out towards, um, out towards Meadowall. So if we just have a look at this map of the walk, we're going from left to right. So we're starting in Ladies Bridge in the city centre and we're finishing just off to the right, uh, just off screen at Meadowall Shopping Centre. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, it'd mean the world to me if you'd uh, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon so you get notifications when I upload new videos. So we're stood on Belong Street Bridge now, and this is uh, this is the the point where the River River Don uh, meets the River Porter, and well, I suppose where the River Sheep as well. And they're referring to those little structures in the middle of the river. Five Weirs Walk. I'm, uh, I am familiar with because uh, I, I do a lot of running around the city centre. Um, but kind of when we get past the bridge now, it's all new territory for me, uh, more or less. Um, so I'm interested to see what's what's to find and uh, if there's any interesting things along the route, other than Five Weirs, obviously. So we're just about to go under the old Sheffield Victoria railway station. Now it's a really interesting thing, um, the way that they've resolved the problem of getting the path underneath. Sorry, there's a lot of sirens today. So this is called uh, Spider Bridge. And we're actually on top of the river. Underneath. So we've got the uh, the old railway station above. It's uh, no longer there. It's uh, now a holiday inn and uh, we've got the river underneath us so it's a really really great way that they've solved the problem of getting over uh, getting through this gap it's a bit bouncy So we're about a kilometre outside the city centre now. Uh, it's been really pleasant so far. Um, really nice path, sort of archway with the, uh, with the foliage going over the top. A um, little bit of um, a section on the road as well, which um, we just kind of sprinted down. And um, But now it's been really nice. We've already passed the first weir just back there. And there's a nice uh, kind of mix of new, kind of regenerated buildings uh, mixed with the old kind of dilapidated industry so I think that's pretty much what we're going to see along the route a lot of um, former industry though sadly it does seem to be uh, 
quite um, quite polluted with litter and uh, and just kind of fly tipping. Just people just kind of chucking it over the sides of the of the walls. There's a couple of nests to some uh, geese and swans back there. Just kind of just surrounded by just rubbish and bin bags. So quite sad. day today I'm not really doing much running on um, on, on my outward leg because I'm doing a bit of filming and uh, I'm roasting s sweating just uh, just walking and jogging it's really really nice day side path just to have a look in the salmon pastures nature reserve it's really tranquil you can hear distant kind of sounds of industry and banging and, and whatnot but it's just like a little pocket of countryside I've just had a, a sit down and a bite to eat and we're uh, we're not even three kilometers into uh, into my run so I do I do these explores um, the whole point of my channel is that these places that I can run to um, but I find myself, my pace, my running pace, actually turns out to be slower than my normal walking pace because I'm stopping every, every 10 yards to have a look at something and film something. We're just coming up to Attercliffe Road now. And I thought we had to actually come off the path and cross the road here, but looks like you can get underneath the bridge. So it looks like we do have a footpath closure now. It's a footpath washed away in flood. It looks like someone's gone uh, You can get around, but I can see just up there that the footpath's completely gone into the river. So I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother venturing off that way. So I'll figure out where we need to go now to get back onto the path. That's a shame. I was really enjoying running along the side of the river. So it looks like I'm going to have to kind of run along a busy road now for a little while. We've got these temporary signs up, so we'll just have to follow where the, the signs are going to take us. I don't really, I don't really know my way around these back roads. It wouldn't be a trip out without me getting lost. Spotted a yellow sign on a lamppost, so took me down this back street. Looks like it's a bit of a dead end. I'm really not sure. Those old railway shunters. Ah, so we've joined up with the end of the footpath that was closed now. It's Stevenson Road. That's another weir. I think that's three weirs now. So that was Sanderson's weir. I think that's three. I'm a bit embarrassed to say I've lost count. But um, I don't know if there was any just back on that section that we couldn't uh, we couldn't run down. It was quite a long section. It's really nice these sections that are uh, off road on the side of the river. 
just done that uh, diversion there it was through kind of back streets through scrap yards it was quite it's quite dangerous because there's kind of lorries coming in and out and you all the paths are all taken up by parking so you're having to walk on the road it's coming up to a it's coming up to a railway bridge so i think this is the line that went um into that scrap yard that we've just passed where we saw the shunters Part of the kind of steelworks industry now. Just past the um, O2 Kampu, how you pronounce it? A steel mill on the right. You can see Forge Masters, the big uh, mills over there. I think we're just behind uh, the Attercliffe uh, village now. Yeah, so this is a walk I've been meaning to do um, for uh, quite a number of years. It's embarrassing that I've lived in Sheffield over 20 years and this is the first time that I've done this walk. I wouldn't say the River Don is the uh, as the cleanest river by uh, by what I'm seeing uh, on today's run, um, but it's probably a lot cleaner. Well, I know it's a lot cleaner than uh, than it was in years gone by. Um, where I grew up in Doncaster, I was uh, I was about less than a mile away from the River Don, um, so it's it's a river I know quite well, I'll, uh, albeit just a, a little bit further upstream, and I know it was really really quite renowned for uh, being one of the most polluted rivers um, I think in Europe at the time and obviously that was because of all the industry and steel works that we're, we're running through now. The end of the riverside path now for a, for a short while. Um, we're, we're on the, uh, what I can tell, we're on the uh, side of the dual carriageway for a bit. So uh, the path doesn't go, the river goes through kind of past the Forge Masters foundry now, and there's no path on the side of the river. So back on the path now. So yeah, that was a bit of a stint on the road there. So just if anyone's not familiar with the geography, we've just kind of come around where the front of the uh, Sheffield Arena is. And then uh, sort of turned off down Carbrook Road. But we're back on the, uh, back on the river now. And this is bright side weir. Now I really have lost count. Is that four? Have we passed another one? I think I'll be able to count to five. <laughs> so uh, we're not too far off Meadowall now. Um, we're on the, the kind of final stretch. I remember this area when we had, um, I mean, the, the whole River Don Valley was affected by the floods in 2007, but I remember on the news, this spot that we're in at the moment, I remember being at work watching this and they were winching people out of the, uh, surrounding officers um, into a helicopter. Yeah, I can't believe that's 14 years ago now. That doesn't seem that long ago to me. A bit of disused railway there on the left. That was a bright side junction to Tinsley Line. We're going to cross it in a minute. And there was the fifth way, so we, we were we were counting correctly. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much where we're finishing today. This is Meadow Wall Shopping Centre, a place I only really come out of extreme necessity. So that's about seven kilometres. So what's that? Just under, uh, just under five miles, four, four, four and a half miles. So I found it really interesting actually. Um, if you want views and panoramas, you go to the Peak District, but that's a little bit something different. And I think I'd definitely come and run this walk again. Um, not the most interesting in places. And those, uh, those on-road bits are a bit 
annoying to be honest they're not pleasant um, but uh, yeah there's definitely some nice bits that make it worthwhile so uh, yeah come and come and check it out if you live in the area so um, I'll sign off there anyway thanks for watching um, take care as always and I'll, uh, I'll see you again soon